don't break your hand. Tango. Look at the room. Ooh. Okay, where's my controllers? Who are you? I'm in the room. Look at my eyes. See my eyes? Gotta watch out so I don't run into, you, don't hit you. What's that? Where's it going? Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago. We hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? They called it the Cinder Night. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the mouse. world mouse. forever. The peace that had settled across the land Where? was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. The bat right there. And that night, Whoa. the animals the nearly right met there. their end. I see a castle. It's a castle. First, they killed the king. Oh no! A winged creature broke from the shadows oh, and plucked him from his Oopsies. royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. Whoops. Watch out. I'm going to sit here again. Here. Come sit next to me. Yeah. The king's guard fought bravely, but the oh castle no! pulsed with the arcane's oh evil. No! Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was bubble. never found. Mm -mm. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. Look at it. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own. Oh no! to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing, hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was great. Oi. Oh! Hmm. 
That hero was the butterfly, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. What is that? Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find. Look at it, it's so small. Just a little farther. Mushroom over there. But look, she got something in her hand. Oh, sees me. Doesn't she see me. She's not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down Ooh. at her. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. Hi, look at. <laughs> we got a little sword. Whoa. Butterfly in my face. Mm. Good job. Whoa. Hi. No small. You still see my face in the water, you see that? Oi! Ah! <laughs> That's who I am. Was there anything down here? Did I miss something? Nothing? Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. I'm helping her move around, huh? Got something. Oh, we're going in this. Oh, the door is closing. Quill. Mouse's name is Quill. Whee! What's this? There's a box over there. Mm, mm, mm.
What does this button do? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, there's something up there. How do you get up there? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Wee! Oops, sorry. I opened the door on her. I opened it. You opened the door. There's another little mouse there. Is they with him? Maybe. Are they friends? Can I pick this one up? Nope. Hi. <laughs> There's a little one there. Oh, they're going home. I can go home too. I want to go home. It's my home. You're at home. Oh, the mouse? The other mouse. To get through this. Oh, there's another scroll. You have to get the scroll. How do I get up here? Stop it! Let's get that thing. Oh, oh, oh! Got it! Is there something up there? No. I don't know, let's see. I hit that. Ooh. Ah. Oh, you can go up there. Stop. Ooh. Thanks to her new friend. Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. She raised the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle. Look at Squirrel! Hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Squirrel! That's the way in there. <laughs> I don't know. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you Is there have something to under see? this table? I think there's something under this table. Out past Whoa. the bell again. He's got us all the stuff. Quill, I've told you countless times. <laughs> Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't What is all the stuff? What is this? Skull. <laughs> Wait, I my head on the table. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic that? spilled over her uncle's mm, Just the first exterior. level. We'll stop Where after this book. This? Roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, 
something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A mm -hmm. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous. He said with great concern. Oh, if I could die. take this... I know, his eyes messed up. But this reader has chosen. He got hurt. See the scar? He's a scratch. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug oh. told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Oh, he's gonna ride on the squirrel. I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. All right, we're gonna stop for now. Oh, we'll watch this first. Look at the house. Look at the house. Look at. Oh. Did I wake her up? Your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. We're going to need them. Oh. Is there anything up here? Quill called out. Hey! Starthing, wait! What is that? Oh, he has a little bee. You see it? See his bee? What else is in here? High five? Uh-oh. Was he waiting for a high five? Can I give him a high five? Let's see. Look, 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 look. Can I give you a high five? High five. High five. High five. Let's see. No? No? Did I do it wrong? Oh, oh, too close. Let's see if he does it. It's his house. Yeah. Let's see. open the door or something? Well, let's see if he does it. Or she does it. Where's your hand? Do this. Ooh. What? Doink. If I say hi, it always says hi. And if I do this, high five. High five. Nope. No high five. No high five. Hey, you. Hey, he's doing. Let's see. Keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. And now, Thank you. Look, at, look at oh. Mm, 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 mm. Whoa, these things move. Did these move? No. Hi. I want a high five. I want a high five. You're stuck. 
It's not doing it. I think it was sticking his hand out earlier. I don't know. There's a paper here. Ah! ah! He said it's too big. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Whoa, I see you. <laughs> High five! Okay, <laughs> we'll stop for now. We could play again later. What is this your game called? Um, Moss. Yeah, I see. Is it cool? Yeah.